So how was the shopping tonight? Hectic. Hectic. Too many people around me. Oh, I gotta indulge myself in a, a bottle of sterilizer. wine. And the wine, yeah. I'm gonna sterilize myself from inside and out. We've done documents in town. You've got a new mobile phone. I got a new mobile phone after how many years? So tonight is on the couch, getting your new phone set up and drinking a glass of wine. We are Tamara and David, an Anglo-Balkan couple who live in a village in beautiful northern Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here on our channel, we take you along with us during our daily lives and also to the places we discover on our trips away. From everyday life to culture and food, we'll show you what it's like for us living in this much misunderstood country. We're looking forward to you joining us. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It's a Sunday and day two of rakia baking or distilling really, but the phrase here is rakia baking. Now, normally at this time of year, people have their fruit, normally plums, shliva, krushka, which are pears, or yabuka, which are apples. They're the main three, I would say. Um, and while some of those are being prepared for winter food, the rest gets distilled down into brandy. So plums, shliva, shlivovica, plum brandy. Yes, so as I say, welcome back to the vlog. I did say on the last one, didn't I, that uh, the weather had turned miserable and it was very misty in the last vlog. Sun's out today. Uh, and a perfect day for distilling rakia. So with my one crutch and everything on my backpack, I don't know if you can see my backpack, um, I'm gonna try and do some filming using the drone um, and this small action camera. So let's see what's what. No fruit on the trees, long gone. And I'm having to walk very gingerly today because my ankle still isn't perfect so I don't want to slip and cause damage like I did last time oh these apples are too far gone for anything for absolutely anything and I can see and you most probably might hear people who have already been at it yesterday and they've been at it since sun up this morning so dobran okay dobran kje je predo predo kuća so a lot going on today uh, not only making rakio but all the work cutting down the trees um, and everything else like that but here we are at the neighbors not only people working on the team this year so you can see the blue container which has got all the water in and then there's predrag wow. mashing up the fruit that has been put into the uh, boiler this is the fresh rakia coming out it's coming out as a clear liquid um, and it will be about 55 uh, degrees so 55% uh, alcohol I think these are the large burras the large containers barrels 500 liters on each and this is the apple that has been stewing and fermenting for months now uh, it's taken out into buckets from here it'll be taken outside and then uh, given to the guys I don't know next to the still let's not call it the pot let's call it the still uh, there they are uh, and there's going to be four days of this of bringing these out and then they'll be filled uh, through that black hatch that will be opened uh, all that fruit will be put in there it then starts to get mashed it's getting boiled up and the vapor is going along the pipe uh, as a vapor and then as it comes down it comes back into droplets as we know as it goes through this container of cold water and that liquid comes out at the bottom on the side of the blue there you would have seen 
Uh, I think it's called a hydrometer to tell you how much um, the alcohol content is. Um, those buckets, those white buckets of fresh rakia get taken away and then put through a number of sieves and gauzes to take away uh, any of the small particles. Fire, very, very basic from logs from the area. Uh, the neighbours cut up a lot of logs. We have a lot of logs cut up as well. And as you can hear in the background, the saw is still going and people in the village are still sawing up their wood um, for the winter. It's a very traditional uh, activity, um, quite a communal activity, although today there's only three guys on the team making this uh, raki. You can see it there going into another large container. Um, I'm recording this after we filmed and it was 400 litres of uh, rakia that was made this year um, by us, <laughs> not me of course, um, and the neighbours. Eau de Vie. So that's it, day two of the three day uh, rakia baking session. Annually uh, in the village, poor plum uh, harvest this this past year it's been absolutely catastrophic and I think it was last year as well but thank the Lord we've got lots of uh, apples so it's an apple session um, you've seen how the process is there are other videos on the channel um, uh, that you can go back and see and I'll put the link to some of those in the description below uh, something I've learned today which I never knew in all the years I've been here that um, from the amount of fruit that is harvested, so let's say 100 litres of fruit, mashed fruit that's in those huge uh, barrels, from um, 100 litres you get 8 litres of rakia, so it's about uh, an 8% ratio, which is an awful lot of fruit um, to get such a small amount of drink from. But uh, it's not just a case of squashing down the fruit like you would if you're making fruit juices, uh, this is distillery. Uh, distilling and uh, yeah so we have to wait for all the physical processes to happen but as you can see out of the bottom of that big blue um, tub that they have set up uh, what's dribbling out of there that is clear is alcohol uh, and that's going to be consumed this year next year um, and uh, all types of celebrations births marriages funerals as well uh, and it's very part very much part um, of the culture. A little while ago I was watching my social media feeds and my daughter uh, and my son-in-law and my two grandchildren uh, that live in New Jersey were posting lots of wonderful pictures about trees from uh, a weekend away they had and the gold and the red and the super browns of the trees where they live uh, in New England and they said we've gone leaf peeping and I was really really surprised about this what the heck is leaf peeping so um, we have a lot of super browns and golds here in Bosnia-Herzegovina, uh, especially in the middle of the country. They're absolutely stunning uh, where the mountain ranges are. But we can't travel at the moment because of COVID and, of course, my ankle. But in the village, we've got some super colours. Uh, and I thought that we should do leaf peeping uh, every year uh, here in the village. So this is our first shot, my first shot. The drone's gone up. It's uh, a misty day. Hopefully the drone won't be affected by the mist and wet because it's not really a waterproof drone. But here's a few minutes of leaf peeping for the first time, I think, in northern Bosnia and Herzegovina. And in a minute we're going to be flying over my neighbour uh, and you'll see the rakia still uh, that we talked about a little earlier on in this blog. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
And this is a bottle of Young Rakia. 50% and I've just taken a sip after all these days of nothing. Woo! Yes, that Young Rakia certainly has a bite to it, but um, older Rakia uh, has a much more mellow taste. Still got loads of alcohol, but it's a much more better taste and a much more better drink, in my humble opinion. Hope you've enjoyed this episode um, of the vlog, especially making the Rakia, and I tried to give a little bit of an explainer this time. The leaf peep peeping, I think we're gonna have to do every year. Um, next year, we'll, well, hopefully with COVID and my ankle being better, as I said, we'll be able to get out and about a lot more. And uh, we can take you around the country to where there's some stunning uh, autumnal colors. So as I say, that's it. If you like um, these videos about our life here in Northern Bosnia, Herzegovina, plus all the other things that we get up to, please do subscribe. It means so much. If you can give us a thumbs up, um, that's even better. And a comment, well, that would be just amazing. From Tamara and me until the next episode, please do stay safe in these uncertain times, wherever you are in the world, and bye for now. Thank you.